everybody, it's Callie Sudbrook from The Arc. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a beginner's lower body workout. Everything that we're doing today is three sets of 10. So you're gonna do every single exercise 10 times and go through that three rounds. First one, we're gonna do a split squat. You're gonna be at the lift machine. It's a cable machine. You can do lots of different exercises here, but this one that we're doing is the split squat. So you're gonna grab both handles and you wanna make sure that your foot, your front foot is on the very, very front of the platform. The other one is at the very back of the platform. Really good posture and you're gonna come straight down. Remember, you're doing 10 reps on each side. Just for the sake of the camera though, I'm gonna show you about four or five on each side. My chest is upright and let's go ahead and switch to the other side, same thing. That back leg goes back and straight down. Now it's okay if that front knee actually goes forward just a little bit, that's perfectly okay as long as you've got healthy knees. All right. There's that split squat for you. Next, we're gonna go over here to the leg, or the leg press machine. So there's a couple different things that you can do on the leg press machine. I'm gonna show you a couple options here so you have a few different things to do. Now, once you get here, there's some yellow controls that you can use to change the seat. One is right here, and this pushes the platform front or back. And this yellow pin right here lets you choose the weight. So you're gonna hop in, and you want your feet pretty much centered on that platform, not too high and not too low, and you're just going to press. We're gonna go for 10 on this one. We've got three, four. It's important that you're not locking out the knees at the top, keep them soft, but you're still getting that full contraction of the quads. I've lost track already, but I think that's eight, and two more, nine, and 10. Now before you hop off, if you want, you can get a little bang for your buck by doing a calf raise at the bottom. So you're gonna let it pull your toes forward and then push, just like that. And in that way, you can kind of do something while you're resting in between sets and get a little bit more of an active recovery in between. Next, we're gonna go over here and we're doing a kneeling hamstring curl. The kneeling hamstring curl is great because on this one, you can do one leg at a time. I'm a huge fan of doing things one leg at a time just because it tends to tease out discrepancies and you can't compensate. So I really like it for that reason. Now on this one, to uh, change the orientation of it, you just move the kneeling pad back and forth. So I'm gonna start with my left knee in here. That right knee goes right against this pad. And you're going to curl all the way to the top, full contraction of that hamstring. Keep everything else nice and tight. So. That means my shoulders are active, I'm pressing into that pad, my abs are tight, I'm squeezing them nice and hard, and that gives my spine some rigidity. You're gonna switch to the other side. Make sure that the weight stacks are the same on both sides before you start. And same thing here. A Couple more, I'm already breathing heavy, and I haven't even done three rounds at each one. Okay, once you're done, you're gonna hop over here this is a single leg leg extension. So with the leg extension, same thing, you're going to pull this forward or back, whichever you need to go based on your height, and you're gonna lock both legs behind this. Now on this one, I like this because you can do it both legs at a time, just like so. All right, but like I said, I prefer single leg stuff, so you can do one at a time. Everything stays the same. This leg just stays unmove unmovable the whole time. And we'll go ahead and switch, same thing. Abs are nice and tight, I have good posture, and I'm coming up all the way without locking out that knee. Good, and next, we have two more exercises to do to make it a complete leg workout. So we're gonna do the outer thigh and the inner thigh. Now, on both of these, it's a little bit funky getting into the machine, so I'll kind of show you from the side view here. Um, you're gonna use all the yellow, controls just like the other machines. You're gonna get in on the side here, swing the legs over, and you can use this as a handle, and you're just lifting out. The seat actually rocks back, that's part of this line of hoist pieces, is it rocks with you to put you in a better position. Now you're doing 10 of these, and remember you're doing three sets before you move on to the next one. And a couple more here. I'm keeping my abs tight just like everything else. And I'm really focusing on that outer glute. Now to get out, you can open it up, hop out, and we're gonna go to the next one here. 
for the inner thigh. Now for this one, you wanna bring legs together, ideally to hop on. Once you're in, you're actually gonna pull it back out to whatever position is most comfortable for you. You don't wanna overstretch your adductors. Make sure the weight is accurate for you and squeeze. Again, abs are nice and tight, everything's engaged. I'm holding on here tight so that the only thing working are my adductors here. And a couple more. Nine, and I think that's 10. And bring it together, you are done. So, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Like I said, it's a nice beginner workout for legs. You'll hit everything that you need to hit. I hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you here soon at the ARC.